Hello YouTube! Today I'm the Naughty Librarian. I am doing the Do I Have That Book? tag. <laughs> this tag was created by Tabby over at Keeping Tabs and I'll post a link to the original video and her channel below so you can check them out. This is actually a really cool challenge. I'll say it's more of a challenge than a tag. Um, basically there's all these prompts and you have to find books on your shelves that match the prompts. And it's not like an easy peasy thing where it's like, oh, I can just take as much time as I want looking for books. No, it's timed. You basically have to beat the person who tagged you. And I think Tabby had eight something minutes. So if I can do this under eight minutes, I will win. I don't know if that'll happen, but I got my iPhone here to chart to time it and it's plugged in because I'm at 3% battery, but that's okay. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm gonna get into this. Number one, do you have a book with deckled edges? I do. Where is a book with deckled edges? Uh, nope, I was wrong. Um, nope, I know I have them, they're somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm over here, you, I'm not in camera frame anymore. Uh, ah, deckled edges, The Winter's Curse by Marie Rutowski. Deckled edges. Okay, number two, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover. Yep, I do. <laughs> three people on the cover. A Torch Against the Night by Sabata here. I know, because I just pulled this book out by accident. Uh, number three, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Yes. Actually, yes, right next to Reaper of the Gates. <laughs> Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adier. Do you have a book with a title that is 10 letters long? Oh, crap. Uh, um. 10 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Crap! Um, <laughs> um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Ha! Never Night by Jay Kristoff! 10! Number 5. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Um, um, Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. They are doing me well. Thank you, Jay Kristoff, for having books that fit this challenge. Number six, do you have a mass market paperback book? Yep, I got a lot of them. And number seven, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Um, I don't always know if they're a pen name. Um, crap, I don't know. Um, I know I probably do, I just don't know which ones are pen names. This might be wrong, but I'm gonna say uh, Keystone by Danica Dark. It's actually the audiobook, but I won it and she signed it for me, so it's important because I really love the series. But I, I doubt her name is Danica Dark. Like, <laughs> that's, that's such a romance novel, novel name. I think that's a pen name. Number eight, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yep. Um. Um. Oh, uh, I think it's over here. Okay, I have The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> Number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? Do you have maps? Do you have maps? Nope, you don't got maps. Um, oh, these gotta have maps. Like, Lee Bardugo likes her maps. Okay, one map. Two maps, yeah! Two maps! <laughs> Cricket Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Um, books that became a TV show. <laughs> now I'm just singing and dancing. It's, it's getting that weird now. Which one of you are TV shows? Because I see a lot of things that are movies, but not TV shows. Balls. Oh! Okay, I have bitten by uh, Kelly Armstrong. That became a TV series. I think it was also called Bitten. I forget, but it is on Netflix and it was based on this book because it's like werewolves and it it's Canadian, but it's a TV show and it was based on this. Number 11. Do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else, like a celebrity, an athlete, politician, or TV personality? Yes, I do. I just got it at a library book sale. Hold on. I have... I have Medium Raw by Anthony Bourdain. It was really sad, but I found it in a library book sale and I was like, I need to have this. So I think he was originally famous for being a chef and then he wrote books. 
Oh, Anthony, I'm so sad. That was a sad one. I brought my energy down. Damn it. Number 12. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I know I do. Um, who has a clock on their cover? Um, shit, that's harder to, oh, shit. <laughs> like, who has a clock? Um, I'm gonna say this counts as a clock. It's The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, but it has like six, five, four, three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. So like, it's kind of a clock. I'm saying it counts. Like, it's good enough for this challenge. It's good. <laughs> Do you have a poetry book? Yes, I have poetry books, but they are over there, so I have to go. Hold on. Okay, I have a graphic novel version of Howl by Allen Ginsberg, and it's actually really cool. I got it. Oh, that that's a dirty that was a dirty picture. <laughs> like I'm not going to show it on on camera, but that was a dirty picture. But anyway, Hell by Allen Ginsberg. Number 14. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Shit, which one of you won awards? Um I know you won awards. <gasps> okay, I know this won awards, but I don't have the award version. I have the original version. You won some awards? Nope, doesn't have the award on it. Did you win an award? Nope. I know these books have won awards, but I don't have the award edition. I have the original edition, some OG. <laughs> Where's John Green? He has awards all the time. Oh gosh, okay, hold on, I'm gonna climb. I'm gonna climb, these are tall bookshelves. Okay, 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 I was right, okay. Looking for Alaska by John Green. All right, <laughs> number 15. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Okay, Amanda Venture, AV. Let's see. Um, I don't, I can't think of any authors with the V last name off the top of my head. Um, shit, this might stump me, but I refuse to be stumped. Okay, I'm just gonna pause for a second because I'm gonna look on other bookcases that aren't in frame. Hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna stretch the version of this answer because I have the collected works of Voltaire. I'm a book nerd smarty pants because I happen to just know off the top of my head that Voltaire was a pen name so I could have used this for the pen name question. His real name was like Francois Arrette. I don't know how to say it but it's, it's an A so last name with an A and last name with a V so I'm gonna say it counts. I'm stretching the, I'm stretching the truth a bit but no it's the truth I'm just stretching the, the rules of the question. Uh, 16. Do you have a book of short stories? Yes, I do, but it's all the way up there. Crap. Okay. Sleepy Hollow and Other Short Stories by Washington Irving. I got this in an owl crate. I just happened to remember that one up the top of my head. Number 17. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages? I know I do. Um, how long are you? Nope, longer than 510. Nope, shorter than 510. Um, um, how long are you? Oh, that's like 700, that's way over. <laughs> you might be 500 though. 507, yeah, King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. <laughs> I'm getting intense here. Number 18. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yes, I do. What's the first one I see? Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey was made into a movie. It was not a good movie, but it's an excellent book. Uh, number 19. Do you have a graphic novel? Shit. Yes, I have lots of them, but I moved them out of here. They are now in my bedroom instead of in the, the office room. Well, it's my dining room, but whatever. They're not in here. Um, do I have any that are still out here? So I just got these in the mail. It is Starfighter by um, Hamlet Machine. So it is a webcomic. And as the cover suggests, it does have boys kissing in it. And by kissing, I mean full penetration. <laughs> yeah, they're very not safe for work. I can't show any of it on camera. But it actually is a really good story. It is a webcomic and I love it and I want to support the author. So I bought like a couple of the real books. They're really good though. <laughs> Number 20, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Yes, I do, because I know right off the top of my head, like Christina Lauren, two ladies, my homegirls, yes. Okay, that is the last question, stop. 
All right, so <laughs> I did not beat Tabby. I came in at 12 minutes and five seconds. So, alas, I am not as fast at this book tag, but then again, it is your book tag, so I would assume you'd be faster. Woo. Woo. It's intense. It was intense. <laughs> That was kind of fun, actually, rather than just doing a book tag where I just like say I gotta pick the books in advance. This is like you have to run around and like, oh, I don't know what books I have <laughs> like, and just forget all the books you have immediately. So that's kind of fun. I suppose I should tag people to do this tag. Um, I'm not sure who has already been tagged or not, but I'm going to go to my old standbys. I'm going to tag Mara from Book Like Whoa. I'm going to tag Leanna from Leanna's Library. I think you're already tagged, though, so scratch that. I'm gonna tag Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany, and I'm gonna tag Lauren from The Novel Lush. Lauren, you should do this because you just redecorated your whole bookshelves in your whole house. Like, I wanna see you do this. <laughs> I don't know what to ask about the comments down below. I guess, um, just let me know what you're currently reading. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you are currently reading right now. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.